the Tksala Bata is a specialized Basque music device of wood or stone. In some regions of the Basque country, Zalapata means racket, while in others Tksalapata has been attested as meaning the trot of the horse, a sense closely related to the sound of the instrument. Communication During the last 150 years, Tksalapata has been attested as a communication device used for funeral, celebration or the making of slate lime, or cider. After the making of cider, the same board that pressed the apples was beaten to summon the neighbors. Then, a celebration was held and Xalabata played cheerfully, while cider was drunk. Evidence gathered in this cider-making context reveals that sound-emitting ox horns were sometimes blown alongside Xalabata. Actually, cider and cider houses are the only traditional context for the Xalabata we have got to know firsthand. The same background applies to a related Basque percussion instrument, the Kaira Coqueta, a reenactment of the pounding used to grind down the apples. Another instance of the same instrument class and geographical area should be noted here, the Tobrak. Some claim that Tksalapata has been used this way for millennia, but notwithstanding different assumptions its origins remain shrouded in mystery. It is worth mentioning that the very similar Romanian Toaca Florin or Greek Semantron is used as a call for prayer, so less epic interpretations linked Xalabata with a common Christian practice before the schism between the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church. Bells were not used in Christian churches before the 10th century. Instrument and Music The Xalabata's musical use evolved out of its original use. Traditional Tksalabata was almost extinct in the 1950s with a handful of pairs of peasants maintaining the tradition. It was then revived by folklorists, such as Jesus and Jose Antonio Watts from the group His Doc Amiru. Innovators started to labor and assemble the boards to achieve some melody. Other materials started to be pressed into service. The Tksalabata today is a musical instrument used in Basque music. It is classified as an idiophone. In its traditional construction, the Tksalabata is made of a pair of long wooden boards held up horizontally on two ends and then beaten vertically with special, thick sticks based on the press handle, the makilak, maki arc, held upright in the hands. On the two ends, between the long board and the supports, corn husks are placed for vibration. However, as the Tksalabata evolved, that kind of equipment has been phased out and only showcased in special festivals featuring the former and rural Tksalabata set. Actually, nowadays the most usual equipment for the Tksalabata consists of two trestles with foam attached to the tops usually wrapped up in various fabrics. As for the boards, they have become increasingly shorter in order to fit the musical needs and convenience of the performers, exactly like the sticks following that the former two odd meter planks stemming from the old cider press may rarely go beyond 1.50 meters, while the 50 centimeter sticks or more so the light, easily handled 37.5 centimeter sticks have become a standard, as opposed to the old time long and heavy strikers. The boards, which may number no less than three in modern Xalabata, are laid on the trestles hip high, while formerly the boards were arranged slightly above knee high. The material of the boards has often shifted from locally available timber to more beautifully sounding wood from other geographical reaches such as Iroko, Sapple, Elondo etc. Furthermore, stone and metal tubes have been added, so widening the range of sounds and contrasts available. In some instances, they have even substituted the customary wooden boards. Big cardboard tubes can be beaten vertically on the floor. It is worth highlighting the manufacture by the group Areca TX of a Tksalabata based on ice blocks on their Scandinavian tour, a making recorded in their 2006 documentary film La Paragraph Madak TX. Operation Music is made using the Tksalabata by having one or more performers produce differing rhythms, playing with wood knots and spots of the boards for different tones. Nowadays the boards have often been arranged to play notes and even melody along the lines of the score which may on the one hand further widen for the Tksalapataris the possibilities to sophisticate the music. On the other hand, some Tksalapata players rule out this novelty as alien to the instrument, essentially rhythmical. Both players perform consecutively by striking with the sticks on the boards. The performance is played intuitively except for the main lines of the performance, 
that is a rhythmic pattern, main beat pattern etc., which both Tuxalapataris may agree on in advance of the performance. In addition, ready-made passages may be used embedded in a specific part of the playing, notably at the beginning and the ending. For example, the traditional opening phrase Sagado Diria, meaning the cider call, is frequently used and easily identifiable with only slight differences from some Tuxalapataris to others. A pre-established whole composition may be arranged as well, while that kind of playings are rare on bare performances with no accompanying instruments. Much of the success of the performance relies on the collusion between both players, so the more they are acquainted with each other's ways, tricks and likings the smoother the performance will go and the easier will be for the Tuxalapataris to show their aptitudes and excel in their playing. Beats There are two distinctive types of beats used on the traditional Tuxalapata, the Takuna and the Harina. The former represents the balance, while the latter names the person who tries are the combinations that break it or twist it. However, the person playing the regularity can nowadays become a balance breaker, so triggering an argument between both sides of the performance that struggle to restore the balance. The basics of Tuxalapata is quite simple as regards the rhythm. Within a binary scheme the player's choice was originally to play two beats each with a different stick, a single beat or none. When no beat is played on the boards, it is called Hatsaniya, or it can be played once, and if the performer opts to strike all two possible beats, then it is takuna, named after the two onomatopoeic sounds emitted. These choices apply currently to both players. Yet the binary pattern belongs to the traditional tksalapata, so when the instrument was carried from the couple of farmhouses it was confined to over to wider Basque cultural circles, the tksalapata evolved into more sophisticated rhythms and combinations, such as the ternary pattern. In that pattern, each player may use their own time lapse to play three even strikes on the boards, or any other combination available, for example strike, rest, strike, strike, rest, rest, etc. As for the order of the hands, the first and the third beat may usually be struck with the same stick, so creating a pendulum-like, come-and-go motion with the arms. Starting out from those two schemes, all other modalities developed, for example fours or the so-called papa pattern, among others, where while sticking to a ternary pattern the players add a fourth strike onto the lapse of time belonging to their mate by overlapping their first strike, resulting in a stressed beat repeated every turn of a player that conjures up a tribal-like movement. Players, Tksalapata was about to die out when it was called back from the cold limbo by activists concerned with the Basque culture. By then, only a few players remained, namely, Miguel and Pelo Zuzabar. Asensio and Ramon Gokoikshi, Jose and Jose Maria Zabalaji, who every so often perform traditional Tuxalapata. In the 60s, in step with the Basque cultural and musical revival movement, Josine and Juan Marie Beltran, a founder of the school of Hernani himself, took up Tuxalapata and encouraged its expansion. Another pair of brothers teaming up to play Tuxalapata were Jekshu and Jose Anton Arts who should be considered within the wider framework of the Azdokamiru cultural movement, made up notably of musicians, poets and theoreticians of the Basque culture. After establishing the school of Hernani, a steady expansion of Tuxalapata ensued in the 80s among younger generations and out to other regions of the Basque country. The Tuxalapata festival was established in 1987, adding to the interest for the instrument and acting as a showcase for fresh trends. Joe's Ugori should be cited here, from Aragoriega, who adopted a fairly mystical approach on the instrument and has released several books on the topic. Another significant couple that got together in the 80s is Gurlabiti, standing for Podi and Ruben, from Area. They started to try new materials with the Tuxalapata. In the 90s and later, new couples have come out from the Tuxalapata school network linked to the Tuxalapata school of Hernani in the area of Donostia. Besides establishing new schools and workshops all over the Basque country, a few Tuxalapata projects of this period worth highlighting Thomas San Miguel, the piano and accordion player, teams up with Gola Beatty and they perform together since 1984. In 1994, the album Ilse is released featuring Tuxalapata to critical acclaim. Two further Tuxalapata related albums have been released since Ten and Dan TXA. 
so wrapping up the trilogy. In this latest album, the swinging duo Tukunak, that is young twin sisters Maika and Sarah Gomez, has taken over the sticks from Gola Beatty. Tukumpa, in 2003, the eight people group releases an album under the same name. They feature a tuxala batter made of wood and marble blended with various African percussion instruments, songs and influences, such as jimbez, kankanis, sambars. Felipe and Imanol Lockhart, after taking up tuxala batter at the beginning of the 90s, Felipe trains brother Imanol and in no time they start playing in the streets and festivals. They are renowned for their performances at the Donostia Boulevard in summer. They have toured several times all over the world and have edited a couple of albums under their own label. The brothers also perform live regularly with the group Crystal Fighters. Areca TX Egoro TXOA and Harkitz Martinez de San Vicente team up late in the 90s out of other couples and join the Keeper Junkera band in his concerts and album releases, mostly playing along with Trikotixa accordions and other folk instruments of the ensemble. They feature a tuxalabata tuned along the notes of a scorn made of exotic wood. After a period of rest, under the patronage of Keeper Junkera they draw up the album Cucus Ingdorfner with the contribution of many celebrated folk musicians, for example Phil Cunningham. Then, they engage in a more independent project, taking to travel to various countries trying to blend tuxalabata with other instruments and cultures, with a view to highlighting diversity and mutual comprehension among the peoples of the world. The result of the experience, the documentary Nomadak TX, proved an outright success, earning them numerous awards in film festivals around the world. Discussion and prospects, it has been a general assumption that Tuxalabata evolved out of a simple binary pattern. Yet in an interview to Juan Mari Beltran, a pundit on the issue that did major field work and has afterwards elaborated on the topic, he holds that two cartooners, even fours, were occasionally played by the last old Xalapata performers. Notwithstanding this comment, it may be contended that they were not ternary or four-strike patterns, but isolated ready-made beat sets inserted in an otherwise simple binary pattern. As regards melody and Xalapata, the issue turns out contentious to some degree, due to the rhythmic nature of the instrument. During the last years, Tuxalabata has broken new ground by playing along other instruments, interacting with them, following that the Tuxalabata has sometimes been tuned for melody to fit in the ensemble. On the one hand, not only accompanies at other instruments by contributing to the bass line, but it also provides melody arranged in advance, which entails establishing the playing beforehand. Therefore some argue that doing so it is taking on a xylophone-like role devoid of its own primary musical features at the expense of adopting a subsidiary and decorating function, for example Tuxalapata and Keeper Junkera's band. On the other hand, Tuxalapata has kept a higher profile in other musician groupings that have clustered around the instrument, where it is blended in with other percussion instruments alien to the country, or rubbing shoulders side by side with autochthonous and foreign melodic instruments like trichotixa, albica, accordion or keyboards, while clinging to its rhythmic nature. To summarize, the rhythm-melody issue remains tricky. Thanks to groups that have sprung up all over the Basque country, Tuxalabata has spread out of its original haven in the school of Hernani into all directions, even outside the Basque country. Besides extending geographically, Xalabata and its performers have soaked up the cultural trends of modern society and mixed with other music coming from different parts of the world, resulting in cultural melange. Additionally, new technologies allow for experimentation and complementarity that formerly was simply unfeasible. Multimedia performances with Xalabata that mix images and sound are not unheard of, as well as DJs playing with Xalapataris, featured for one in the Xalapata Festival of Hernani. Miscellaneous, in the pursuit of taking out the most of the materials, a whole range of experimentation is being made steadily, such as the one conducted in the cavern of Menduculo by Juan Mari Beltran, aimed at providing a suitable Tuxalabata background for visits based on sounds created by playing with elements from the very grotto. Beyond the boundaries of music art, the sculptor native from Userbal Jose Luis Elix Papilixa has turned Tuxalabata into the object of his work. Himself a pupil of the famous Tuxalapata player Jekshuatz, 
In the exhibition put on in Userbel as of 092008 Apelixa attempts to cross over the immovability of his discipline. Besides wood, metal is used to fashion figures representing Tksalapataris, as well as playing with black and white, on the one hand, and colors, on the other, to stress different approaches. References, La Tksalapata. Yusko News and Media. Retrieved January 28, 2008. Article in Spanish translated from Basque, Tksalapata Plus. North American Basque Organizations. Retrieved January 28, 2008. Toma S. San Miguel y la Tuxalapata Fliz. El Paul S. Retrieved January 28, 2008. Site in Spanish, https, www.youtube.com slash. Watch question mark v equal 9 psh v q n y a k s, a b tuxalapata tren by luz bay teco o a k in sun. Retrieved January 21, 2008. Site in Basque, Menduculo incorpora ma psica de estalactitas y de tuxalapata. Gara. Retrieved March 18, 2008. Article in Spanish, Hots is Hots, Tuxalapata in Osotis una erudicatio du Pelex ec. Gara. Retrieved May 9, 2008. Article in Basque. External links, Euskal Musica Basque Music and ABO site, The Tuxalapata in Communication, PhD thesis about Tuxalapata, Tuxalapata site in French, English, Basque and Spanish, now paragraph Madak TX film website, explanatory clip on the Tuxalapata's origin site in French, the Tuxalapata group TTAKUN, Thomas San Miguel's website, Tuxalapata site in Spanish or plus or minus Amendi Encyclopedia, Tuxalapata site in Spanish, clip series from Tuxalapata performances dead link, a picture of a Tuxalapata with Makilak, a picture of the Tuxalapata being played, a picture of the Tuxalapata players by Anoop Negi.